Hello and happy October, everybody. It's me again. And we're here with a brand new horror game. Brand new for me, anyway. I purchased, purchased, because that's a word. I purchased this. <laughs> um, I want to say it's been over a year at this point ago. Um, and I've been absolutely dreading hopping into this game. Um, and, uh, you know what? The stars have finally aligned and we're just gonna go ahead and do it. Um, this is Welcome to the Game 2.0. Um, I've watched some videos of Let's Players playing Welcome to the Game 1.0, but then when they said they were releasing a new update with a bunch of new stuff, I stopped watching. So I know how the game works. I kind of know what I'm getting into. And I also kind of don't. <laughs> um, pretty much the only reason I'm playing this right now is because um, it's October. And also, this game now has a sequel. There is a Welcome to the Game 2. And I didn't want to hop into the second one without at least trying to tackle the first one. Um, for those of you that are unaware of how this game works, this is one of those horror games that is really scary because it reflects real life events. We basically, what we have to do is we have to browse the deep web, which is like the really shady, super illegal version of the internet. We basically have to search through all these different websites to find eight codes. You put all eight codes together in the right order and it will give you a URL to a red room. I think my game just froze. Nope, we're good. Okay, <laughs> just kidding. For those of you lucky enough to not know what a red room is, um, prepare to be very much less lucky, unless you click off the video right now, because a red room is something very real that totally happens on the real life deep web, where a person is kidnapped, tortured, and murdered in front of a live audience on stream, on the deep web. So, Apparently that's what we're looking for. That's our end game is to get the URL to the red to the red room and watch something really shitty happen. Um, something else about this game that you may not be aware of. This game registers your microphone, meaning when the things from the deep web come to get you, I here have to physically shut up. Um, so they can't hear me because if I talk in real life, they will hear me talk in the game and I will die. Um, which is especially frightening because I'm not at home right now. I am in somebody else's house uh, up at Bass Lake, um, pet sitting a black cat of all things in October with the front door directly at my back. And I don't have dual monitors since I'm not home, so I can't see my webcam, which means I can't see anything behind me right now. <laughs> We're gonna die. Like, I've heard this game is hard, but I've heard the second one is infinitely harder in every way. So um, let me know if you guys want to see me tackle that or maybe see this through to the end because I can guarantee you we are not seeing the end in this episode. At least not the end of the game. The end of me. Probably. Yes, absolutely. All right, let's go ahead and do this. Normal or... Oh, that's cool. You can just browse through all the web pages and stuff now. That's cool. I might want to do that as a bonus video, because that's one thing that I kind of didn't like about um, watching other people play Welcome to the Game, was, you know, they're just kind of like scrolling through the web pages, looking for codes. They're not actually reading most of the stuff on the web pages, which, you know, my morbid curiosity wants to read what's on the page. <sighs> Fucking hell. We are so gonna die. Oh, there it is. A hidden service on the deep web to see and participate in interactive torture and murder. It's S to turn around, right? Yeah, okay. Hi, Adam. Hey, so, yeah. Are you sure you want to do this? No. The deep web is full of fucked up shit. Yeah. Even worse, a red room. Mm -hmm. There are some things you can't unsee. Right? Why, why would I ever think that this is worth it? Fuck it. Forgo personal safety. Let's go watch somebody get murdered live on stream. I'm shaking already. <laughs> All right, well, don't say I didn't warn you. The deep web is like a giant maze. There is no search engine. Mm -hmm. So you have to do some exploring to find out what you are looking for. That's very real. 
That's very real. Yeah, there is no search engine on the deep web. You can't really navigate it, really. Um, I mean, unless you have the specific tools to do so. Which, by the way, I should probably also mention, it's very dark in here, which is on purpose, and I kind of hate myself for it, because I'm testing out my low-light webcam again with my new microphone, which is really my old microphone. Uh, same microphone as usual. Um, yeah, so... Let me know if you guys like the setup. I might just end up using this webcam permanently instead of the one that's been attached to my laptop. Um, yeah, because I really like this thing because it's great in low light, see? Which gives me no excuse to play horror games in the dark anymore. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, so let me know what you guys think of the quality. First thing, there is two main programs of which you'll be using on your search for a red room. I should probably move my tablet and get this thing closer to me so I'm not reaching across the table for it. Hi, do I still look pretty? Okay. <laughs> All right. Yeah, bring the screen closer to me. That's what you want to do in a horror game. All right. Anne. Anne, which I forget is uh, called the... Anne Notes. Oh, if I can remember. I should have notes in real life up, actually, but I would if I had to do a monitor, but I don't. Because I know if you fail hacks, you have the chance of losing your notes, which is where you put the codes when you find them. So if that happens... Ugh. Anne is a web browser that allows you to access the deep web. You can't access these sites on a normal browser. Mm-hmm. Yes. <laughs> you can only thank God for that. Notes is, well, uh, notes. You can use this to take notes on which you discover. So this is a pretty important tool to use. Which, by the way, this guy, Adam, is totally the developer of the game. So that's pretty cool. Hi. <laughs> I went ahead and set your homepage on Anne to a deep wiki page. That's what a code looks started. like. What you are looking for are eight hidden keys on the deep web. Not all sites have them, but some do. You have to explore each page, click the links, and see what you discover. A hidden key looks like this. Thank you. There's a lot of pages, by the way. A lot. And we need to find eight of these things. You will never find more than one code on one page. This game is a grind. And the other thing is, if you die, you start from square one. There are no checkpoints, so the stakes get really high really quick the further you go. Which is kind of just why I'm just trying to do this. I just kind of want to play the game, really, because I've had this game for so long. It's only $2 on Steam, so go download it. Um, yeah, I'm kind of regretting my choices. <laughs> Each key contains an order number associated with them. Yeah. This is important. Once you have found all eight keys, you have to type out the complete key in order. This will provide you with the Red Room's URL. I explained this already, so thanks. Thanks, Adam. <laughs> this is where the notes system comes handy. Uh-huh. You could keep track of all the keys you have found. Thank you. Another tricky thing with the deep web is that some pages are only up at certain times of the night. If yeah, you look at the top too. right corner of your screen, you will notice a clock. It's weird that's on the top. It should be on the bottom, you know, like a normal computer. Obviously, this is your current time. So if a site you visit is not up, try again a couple hours later. Guys, my legs are shaking already and nothing's even happened because I've seen what this game is capable of. Oh, also my screen just turned yellow, orangish, because uh, I have an 8 o'clock nightlight thing on it. <laughs> Whoops, oh Next well. Next to the clock, you will notice a day count. This keeps track of how many days have passed since you started your search for a red room. Yeah, I only have 30 days until, until I just straight up run out of time and the red room closes and boo-hoo, I lose the game. All right, now that is out of the way. Let's get on to the more interesting Ah, uh, damn it, I the lost the web. game. <laughs> Guys, <laughs> nothing. I'm shaking already. <laughs> oh, God. When you explore the deep web, you're exposed to hackers. These hackers will attempt to attack you, but don't worry. I went ahead and installed some tools to prevent this from happening. Oh, good, thank you. Yeah, they're like little mini games. Um, that, of course, start with a jump scare. <laughs> Fucking hell. Okay, uh, I was gonna add something and I forgot. Right, this is exactly how I felt when hopping into Five Nights at Freddy's for the very first time back in, what, January of 2015, I think, which is crazy. Um, yeah, because I'd watched people play Five Nights at Freddy's, the first one, before I started playing it, because you guys just kept pouring in so many requests to play Five Nights at Freddy's, and I was like, I've already watched somebody else play it, but hell, if you guys want to see me play it, sure. This is that feeling. It's like, I've seen people play it before, like, I'll be okay, and then you get in, you get in it, and you're just like, oh god, I'm not okay. Like, knowing what the game's capable of almost makes it worse, which sucks. But yeah. There are three kinds of attacks that happen to you while you browse the deep web. Three. The first one being a denial of service attack, or better known as a DOS attack. I thought it was just a new enemy and a bunch of new web pages. Apparently they must have added a different type of hack too. When a hacker attempts to DOS you, 
You'll be prompted with the DOS is one of the old the ones to try and block the attack. Um, I forget how it. Oh no, right. It's 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 like the path thing. It's almost like the Bioshock pipe mini game. You simply just have to click the action nodes in the puzzle and redirect the traffic to the exit node. This prevents the packets from flooding your system. You have to activate all of them, though. If you don't, you will get hacked. And that gives me the option of losing days, um, so I have less time to find the red room, and also losing my notes, which would really suck. But yeah, I'm going through all this tutorial um, in case it introduces something new that I don't know about, and also so you guys kind of know what's going on. Pro tip, you can hold the middle mouse button to speed up the process. Like click it in, or scroll it. I'm going to go ahead and launch a DOS attack it out. so you can test this out for yourself. Thanks, right. Adam. You're a pal. Thanks for the friendly neighborhood hack. Dick. Har, har, har. Har, har. Har. Oh, God. It's... Okay, you click in the... the you click in the scroll okay, mouse. Great. Got it. You nailed it. Thank you! I kind of... I can. I was kind of spazzing out a little bit there because my hands are shaking. The second type of attack that can happen to you is a kernel attack. Hackers will try to corrupt your kernel and prevent you from using your system. Oh no, which one? Kernel Sanders? Just like the DOS blocker tool, I went ahead and installed the kernel compiler tool for you to fix this the is corrupted code. Mavis this tool, Beacon. you simply just have to type what you see on the screen. It's not easy either. <laughs> Alright, now I will launch a kernel attack on you so you can test it out for yourself. Ready? This one's really gonna be hard. <laughs> okay. Hard, 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 hard. Of course, the type of hack it is shows in the top right, which is where my fraps counter is. Oh shit. Okay. Hashtag include iOS stream. Hashtag include studio.h. Nope, not that. There we go. Okay. Okay, great. Now let's move to the third and final type of attack. My a vector access performance. Oh god, this is the new one. Okay. Or better known as a vape attack. Vape, really? <laughs> I mean, vector access performance exec uh, executor is is easy enough. You know, makes enough sense. But vape, really? Oh no, I'm being hacked by millennials. I can't hit space. Vape I gotta click. Okay. Will corrupt your memory segment blocks by rearranging them out of order. Just like the previous two tools, I went ahead and installed the cloud grid for you to correct these segments. With the cloud grid, you must rearrange the memory segments so they are not horizontal or vertical from each other. Okay. Mm okay. Like some weird ass Sudoku crap? A corrupted memory segment looks like this. Okay. And a correct memory segment looks like this. Okay. So they can't be next to each other vertically or horizontally. Got it. So only their corners can be touching. Got it. I'm going to go ahead and launch a vape attack on you. Ready? Oh no. A millennial attack. Whatever shall I do? Okay, I think I got this. If I understand it correctly, which I might not. Um, how do I move them, precisely? Excellent. All right! <laughs> address is revealed. By default, Anne hides your IP address, but some websites may reveal it to the hackers. If you're getting hacked and would like for it to stop, simply just reset the modem. This will reset your IP address. That's also new. I've never had to reset them. I've never seen anybody have to reset the modem before. How do I know if my IP address has been revealed? Is that, what, is that the little arrow in the top corner? I do know about that. If there's a little arrow that appears up here in the top corner, uh, it means I'm being tracked. And usually that means somebody's outside my window. That's about it. You are now ready to explore the deep. I'm world. not. Please tell me about the kidnapper. Oh, wait a minute. A couple more things I forgot to mention. Oh, First, a couple more things now? This is just now? an urban okay. legend, so I'm not sure if it's true or not. It's true. But they say the farther you get into the deep web, kidnappers will try to locate and kidnap you. That's when the microphone comes into play. <laughs> oh, I regret my decision to play this game so much at night. Guys, just so you know, where's my phone? I also haven't been timing myself. Um, but this is all tutorial, so I suppose I should, shouldn't even be timing myself at this point anyway. It is 8 minutes past 8 p.m. right now, so it is completely dark outside. And I, I have two windows right over here above my laptop um, that it's just, just an abyss of darkness out there. Front door's behind me. 
It's been a long time since I played a horror game in the dark, guys. I'm not, I'm not ready. Um, hold on, just let me start my timer. A tutorial's closing off now, so I'll just go ahead and uh, start. Start, you bitch. Thank you. Okay. So be on the lookout for this. If you think someone is tracking you, just turn all the lights off and be quiet. Don't say a word. When you think the coast is clear, turn the lights back on. I'm still not entirely sure what coast is clear means. Like, I don't know, I'm just going to have to learn as I go. Now besides that, this I can promise you is real. Where you currently are, there is a serial killer on the loose. They call him the Breather. He looks for his victims browsing the deep web or random hitchhikers. Oddly specific. <laughs> a serial killer? Are you kidding me? The Breather? Oh, my teeth are chattering now. Oh, that's good. Okay. Okay. It's kind of weird, but he also calls his prey before he kills them, breathing into the phone and saying other things that don't make sense. Hence why he's called the breather. I wholeheartedly regret my decision to hop into this game now. Hey, boy. You're a sweetheart, but I do wish you'd be quiet more often. Okay, You're back to the back to the serial killer thing, yeah. Place. You have to block the front door with your life. He has a strict set of rules where he can only attack if he breaks through the front door. Don't ask me why. Okay, because game mechanics. I get it, Adam. It's fine. Okay, so I can go to the front door now. Where's the front door in this house? Don't know. Can I check? Is my window already open? Because that ain't good. How do I, uh, let's D to... Oh no, that click counted. Oh no! Okay, hold on. Adam's talking. I can't hear a goddamn word he's saying. Uh. Oh, these are so confusing. Well, that's it. Good luck. Oh, great. Oh, cool. I missed the part of the tutorial that I actually need. I'm assuming my router is there. I'm assuming my phone is right there. Go fuck yourself, game. Okay. I don't really know where this feels like I'm on a computer. This is fucking crazy. I'm just gonna put my face in the top left until I know otherwise, so... Yeah, sure, that's framed accordingly. Alright! Okay. Yeah, this is the Deep Wiki 1. There's... I think there's three of them now, since the update. So... Just go from top to bottom. And some of them are only open a certain time of night, and some of them don't open at all. I do know this. So, yeah. Oh, that's nice. That's really good. Is this Father Donald's website? Politically correct bullshit of our environment has allowed this wound to fester, and we are here to lance and drain it. Then burn what remains. Oh, that ain't good. Um... I have to remember, I'm, I'm looking for codes here. By clicking on links, or it'll sometimes just be on the web page right there in front of your face. So, yeah. Charlie EU. Oh, this really feels like I'm on a computer just browsing the deep web. I don't like this. Okay, chosen a week. Oh, no, I know this one. This unlocks the deep web wiki, too. I don't need to do that right now. Dr. Murder? Oh, no. Patient of your choosing will be killed through a method that you select. Oh, I thought this was like a right to die kind of thing. Injection, ingestion, reaction, trauma, or a toxin. Appear as an accident, natural, or purposeful if you wish to send a message. Oh, dear. For anyone who's got an extra 20, 30, 300 grand laying around. Oh, no politicians. Hmm, what a shame. Contact us below. Uh, I don't... there's no code here. Nope. No code. <sighs> I'm really uncomfortable already. I'm just... I keep looking up there in the corner looking for that fucking arrow. My window is open. That ain't good. I'm assuming I don't have to worry about the breather until my phone starts going off. Forgive me. 
When I was a kid, my friend and I stole money from a church in our neighborhood in the pastor's bike. How fucked up is that? That's a lot less fucked up than I was expecting. Oh, good, okay. Wait, what? A collection of all my past girlfriends? Your past girlfriends, what? Oh no. Lunches started going missing from the fridge, so I started bringing in sandwiches laced with dog shit, fly spray, that's gross, but also kind of funny. <laughs> oh, well then by all means you play this fucking game, okay? Why can't this person go for the deep web? Hey, feelings mutual. Ah, oh, that's unfortunate. I'd like to murder, not serial killer type murders, but just murder people who've wronged me. That's a serial killer, by the way. Getting caught murdering has got to be one of the suckiest things ever, so I won't murder. Murder. Oh, good. I swear to Christ, I heard somebody walking around in the house. I'm not human. Okay, role play. I don't care. I killed six people. Okay, that's not good. Fuck off with the noises in the house, bruh. Fuck off with them. Alright, I'm reasonably certain there's no code in here. <laughs> yeah, that would suck. <laughs> Hail Satan. Cool, let's go there. Oh, I don't want to be here. Let's, okay. Uh, cool. Oh, pictures. I wasn't expecting that link to actually work. That's cool stuff. That's cool stuff. Please don't tell me there's videos. Oh god, though. Okay, thank god. Thank you, Anne. Thank you, my absolute hero, Anne. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Things that Christians have traditionally considered evil might not necessarily be considered evil by non-Christians. Yeah, you know, like being gay. That, that, that's not evil. Antithesis of evil, actually. Okay. Guys, I'm like, I'm to the point where I just don't even want to talk. <laughs> I don't want to talk at full volume. I'm genuinely really freaked out right now. I have to give you my soul and a vial of blood and a sample of my hair. How about I don't do that? Don't really wanna. Sorry. I'm not ready for that kind of commitment. Nothing on that side. Okay. Oh, cool. Yeah. That's not good. Let's check for links. You have cool hair. Oh, God. Go die in a fire game. Go die in a fire. Okay. Order now. Well, that's an awful lot of money. I don't really...
Oh god. I'm never playing this game in the dark again. I'm never playing this game in the dark again. They wouldn't be douchey enough to put a code in there, would they? Probably not. Oh my fucking god! <laughs> my whole body's tingling after that. Oh crap, it's Colonel. Okay. Oh, that's not wrong. Wait, socket OPS? There we go. Oh god, I can't do this when I'm scared and my hands are shaking. Oh god, where am I? There we go. S sexually transmitted disease, colon, colon, string, const, and, nope, and, nope, uh, and the string. Dive fucking fuck string! Sad face with the wink. No, god damn it. <laughs> okay, this. Okay, yeah, there's somebody walking around in my house. I, I really don't care at this point. I mean, I probably should, right? But I don't. Okay. Handler. Equal sign. PCAP. Underscore. Open. Underscore live. Fuck it. Winky. Here we go. Void. Run. Socket. Operation. Then, uh, 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 oh god, oh god, that, t that took a long time. <laughs> I'm just gonna pretend like that sound was nothing, because so far it's been nothing. Now watch me die. Take down, man, I remember you. I wonder if this is an actual YouTube URL. <laughs> All the websites he's taken down. Joseph. Get off that website. That my character isn't stoop is isn't smart enough to have headphones in either. Tango down. Nope. Oh my god, I'm so scared. I'm so scared right now. I haven't seen my windows open, which sucks, but oh, oh please don't let this be oh my god. Okay. Oh no. How to become a pedophile for dummies. Uh. Uh. Oh, for fuck's sake! Oh my god! Oh. oh, that was the worst timing ever! Huh. Oh. WHEN DID YOU SHOW UP? I DIDN'T SEE THE ARROW, DUDE! So now I get to start all over. I'm gonna go one more time. I want us to actually find at least one code before I completely puss out. I don't know why. Why am I playing this at night? What time is it? Fuck you, Adam. Okay. Click you down there. Okay. Try this again! From the top. Actually, you know what? Just to be- just to keep original content here. We're gonna start from the bottom and work our way up. Oh, good. Okay. Not all humans are equal. Some of them were born superior to others. That's debatable. Experiments that are being conducted by our group on human subjects? Usually homeless individuals that are unregistered citizens. Oh god, pain tolerance, starvation, infectious diseases, drug trials, sterilization, oh god. Dumpsters of meat shops! What?! Oh god. That's terrible. Oh, that's not ominous at all. Not at all. Oh good, cholera testing. That's good. Ugh. Died after just 12 hours of non-stop diarrhea and puking. Still alive with only water's nutrition. Died just after 45 hours of hydration. That's not good. All right, no code there. I haven't even had, I haven't even needed to use my notes yet. Oh, I, I know the doll maker. I know the doll maker. 
I transform girls into easily manageable toys. The girls cannot walk away, cannot resist, cannot say anything. They are just there for your sadistic amusement. Uh-huh. Straight out of the Criminal Minds episode, you are. I don't see a code. Oh, God. Oh, nope. Nope. Fuck that. I'm out. <sighs> Steroid queen. Wow. It's been three for three so far. Products. I code! Alright! Found one! Um 351D. Gotcha. Okay, on steroid queen. You know what? I'm gonna write down ah fuck it. Whatever. That one's on steroid queen. Okay, well now we can go back because there's no there's never two codes on one site, so okay, we found it there. Cool. Did I just hear something? Oh my god, I hope I didn't. Please don't be open. Please don't be open. <sighs> okay. Cool. Person doesn't know grammar. Uh, God. Uh, no. Nothing there. This game so fucking much. I switched my earbuds because I'm pretty sure I had them backwards. Uh, passport forgery. That's kind of actually the stuff that I kind of like to see on the deep web. Besides all this statistic torture, rape, and experimentation stuff. Don't like that. Parasite. Good. Organ Mart. Oh no. Uh, oh, the hacks are the worst. Okay. Colonel again. God, yeah, well, frickin' hell. Okay. RC, right. Well, that one was easy. Okay. Strictly professional and safe. Why do I not believe you? Oh, God. Oh, for fuck's sake. An unknown! <laughs> Why do I get the feeling these were not voluntary donors? I think I just shit myself. Shut the fuck up. Oh god. He's here. Should I sh should I should I check the door? For fuck's sake, again. It's cool, bud. It's cool, you know? It's cool. Just... Okay. Nude YouTubers. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm, I know the three here. Risk Grim, Jackie Boy, and Raz. I know. I. Oh, God. I'm incredibly uncomfortable right now. <laughs> um, 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 um. Scary game.
game, Janae. Scary game. Oh, it's okay. Fine. Finally, it's not a fucking kernel block. Jesus. Okay. 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 Footsteps in the house, bruh. so unbelievably terrified right now. The garage door is over there and I left it open for the fucking cat and I'm hearing weird sounds over there and I don't like it. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> It's just a friendly neighborhood ghost moving chairs and shit around in my house. Everything's fine, you know, the, you know, the usual stuff. Okay, cool. I just really don't want to talk anymore. I mean, I'm already fucking done. I've only found one code and I don't want to play this anymore. What was that flesh trade? I think it was. I'm feeling so fucking bad. This is easily the worst decision I've ever made 
In my fucking life. Then I saw a great white throne. Fuck you, Father. And him who was seated on it. From his presence, earth and sky fled away. Okay. No code? Fuck you, Father Donald. Go back to giving rights to strangers. Well, that's good, I guess. Yeah, that's, I'll take that as good news. Cotton Road. It's a drug site. Which used to be open in this game. I've seen that one before. It's cool. Oh, God. Okay. 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 I guess that I guess we're going to the wiki too now. Not that one. Middle. I know how this website works. Fuck. Don't waste the middle one. There we go. Uh, this one. Sorry if this is boring, because I'm not talking very much, but you know what? You tend to have the good old vocal cords lock up on you when, you, when you're terrified for your very fucking life right now. I'm not even keeping track of the ones I'm trying. Okay, that's the breather, is it? <laughs> okay, cool. Yeah, good, 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 good to meet you, bro. Good to meet you, bro. Yeah, okay, yeah, I'm done with this. Was he just sitting there watching me the whole time until I backed up? I kept checking the front door, what do you want from me? Yep, that's 42 minutes, I'm done. <laughs> I am so done right now, guys. That's probably close to an hour that I've played that, and I don't want to play anymore. If you guys want to see me play more, please give me tips on how to deal with the breather and all that crap, because I'm never playing this in the dark again. In a house that's not mine. I just, I had this ever-present feeling to just want to turn around and see if the door was still closed. like. That was the worst feeling of absolute paranoia I've felt in a long time. When your face locks up, when you're scared and you're just like this the whole time, and then a jump scare happens, tend to, you know, maybe pull a muscle or two in there. <laughs> it really hurts. Again, I think the last time my jaw hurt after a jump scare was probably Five Nights at Freddy's 4, which was a long time ago. Oh my god. Alright, that was Welcome to the Game 2.0. Fuck that shit. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed. <laughs> like and favorite if you did. Subscribe if you want to see more. Peace out. If it were up to me, I'd never touch this game again. If you want to, though, it's $2 on Steam. It's really good. <laughs> In all of the worst ways. <laughs> so go give it a try if you if you have the, the, the cojones to do so. I'll see you guys in my next video. <laughs> Farewell, friends. <laughs>